Hello, this is our LED strobe unit that uh, we've modified. Uh, first off, this is, uh, you see the dwell and the RPM. Uh, this machine is working without batteries. Uh, this is an easy modification you can do. Uh, everyone's got an old wall wart cell phone charger, and this is what you do. You take the cell phone wall wart charger, Make sure it, it reads 5.2 volts coming out. And so you go in with a 68 ohm resistor and you make a voltage divider out of 251 ohm resistors and that replaces your two batteries. Uh, the blue is always the negative and uh, the other two wires are white but uh, it's easy to find the center tap that goes to the two batteries. Uh, so, anyways, this works. Remember, 5 volts. Make sure you got the polarity right. There should be 5.2 volts. And uh, a 68 ohm resistor and 251 ohm resistors. And an old wall wart. Uh, it solves your battery problem forever. Okay, right now, uh, I looked at the calibration procedure. And it says you should use a calibrated distributor uh, with a 50% duty cycle. So that's the points on half, points off. Well, who's going to have that? But So I built this little calibrator down here. Uh, just in a little plastic box. It's not much, but we connect the points to this screw. And then we have a wire going to the ground connection. And if you notice, we have uh, one, two, three, uh, we got four of them total going across the thing. It's kind of hard to see, but there are four. And that means we're at 900 RPM. If we speed this up, uh, as, you're, as you're adjusting, you'll see the speed goes one way and then the other. So right there is 450. That's rather precise. You'll saw a three there, but as we get up to 1800 RPM, suddenly we just have two. And if you look, that's where we are, 1800 RPM. So uh, this is a nice little calibrator. I ought to send this one off with units so you can calibrate them. And then you can pass it on to the next person. But uh, that's what I wanted to show you. The circuit is simple. Uh, it's just a 9-volt uh, transformer. And that gives us, you know, plus minus 13 volts. And we're sampling the uh, AC waveform. We're looking for zero crossing. And that gives a precise 50% duty cycle. And at 450 RPM, you get eight arrows, 904, 1802. And again, you need to adjust that speed so the arrows just stop. And that's precisely 1800 RPM. So, if anyone's interested, I'll give you more details on this. But this is the pin out, this is pin one. So you can uh, take a snapshot of this, copy it off. Thanks for watching.